Good Tuesday morning, everybody. It is May 17th. And uh, for a beginning, a shout out to my friend, Father Van Den from the Diocese of Oakland, who's celebrating his uh, 15th ordination anniversary today. So happy anniversary, Van. Our gospel today is from John 15, verses 1 through 8. And we have Jesus, and he again continues really goodbye scene with his disciples. He's talking to him. He says, Remain in me, and I will remain in you. And if you remain in me, and uh, remain in you, and you're going to do great things. In essence, what he's saying. And he says, then, that anything you ask the Father, the Father will give you. But remain in me. And that remains, that's the whole thing throughout this, remain in me. So I think, well, how does, what's this really mean? Because it, it, it can't be just a superficial relationship. I think the challenge, this gospel is challenging me and everybody else, is this relationship with Christ and with this meaning of depth relationship. It can't be just a superficial thing where we pay attention to Jesus for 50 to 60 minutes on Sunday and then we call it good and we think, okay, it's good. And then we get angry because our life is all messed up and we can't make sense of the world. We're like, well, Jesus, you promised. But this remaining in me is a, it's a really, it's a contemplative thing. It's about always being aware of where Christ is moving us, where the message, the words of Christ, the wisdom of Christ is to be used and is being used by us in our daily life. So, for example, you know, when uh, you know we're angry at someone and we're like, okay, I'm gonna get all, I'm gonna get even with this person, I'm gonna get all passive aggressive, I'll show him or her. And then we hear Jesus' words, forgive, Bob, forgive. It's like, oh, that's an example. I mean, so that remaining. It, it takes some work. Uh, it is about that daily prayer. It is about really being aware of our own selves and what we are doing and how we are reacting. And then saying, okay, where does Jesus really apply to this? This is what Jesus means, I think. And that's the challenge. And again, it's kind of hard to do because it takes a little energy. But it's worth it because... It does provide that wisdom. It provides that stability. It helps us, you know, when life goes like this, kind of, kind of helps us to even out and uh, and not get so excited about the highs and lows. All right. Hopefully, it makes sense. But that's what I'm working out today. So you guys enjoy today. Have a great day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye.